The Quick Mask plugin has been rewritten from the ground up. It now offers cleaner and smoother 16-bit luminosity masks. In order to apply an adjustment through a luminosity mask, we have to first start by choosing from one of the adjustment layers in the top of the panel. I'm going to choose a brightness and contrast adjustment layer and now I'm going to find a mask from which I want to apply that adjustment to. I'm going to cycle through each individual mask and as I cycle through the masks we can see the mask appearing inside of the thumbnail inside of this brightness and contrast adjustment layer. If I want to see a larger preview of the mask I can simply choose the preview option and as I cycle through the masks this will then show me a preview of the actual luminosity mask itself. If I prefer to see this preview in a red overlay I can choose the red overlay option and that now shows me the same mask only this time with a red overlay applied on top of it. And once I've found the selection that I want I'm going to disable the preview then this then allows me to come into the adjustment and simply make an adjustment based on that particular luminosity mask. If I don't want that adjustment to be applied to the entire image, I can choose whether to paint in the effect or paint out the effect. I'm going to choose to paint in the effect, so I'm going to choose this option. You'll now see that we have this animated icon which is indicating that we now have a selection active. Choosing an appropriate brush opacity and an appropriate brush size, I'm simply going to now paint back in the effect exactly where I want it to be. And to some degree we're actually going to be protected by the active selection. So if I accidentally was to paint in this darker section, Nothing is going to happen but simply because if I turn on the marching ants we can see that the active selection is preventing us from painting in the areas which are not currently selected. We also have the ability to use the dodge and the burn tool. If we're choosing the dodge and the burn tool we can target whether we want to dodge or burn the highlights, midtones or shadows and we now have the ability to increase or decrease the amount of paint that we're going to be applying to the image, as well as increasing or decreasing the brush size. When dealing with luminosity masks, we can actually increase the softness of the mask if we want more of a feather applied to that individual mask. We have the ability to reset the adjustment layer back to its default settings, or we can choose to delete the current active layer. Along the top we have all the available adjustment layers which we can use with luminosity masks including brightness and contrast, levels and curves, exposure, vibrance and hue and saturation if we are using colour images. The remaining icon on the end is a simple black and white adjustment layer so it allows you to create a black and white adjustment based on the colour image if you are using colour. Like all the traditional plugins we have a flyout menu where we've got access to different video tutorials. We've got a preferences option where we can change both the accent colour, change the Photoshop theme and in the case of the quick mask we have additional options where we can create the preview automatically after creating a luminosity mask and we can also hide or enable the selection edges or marching ants when we're choosing to paint in or paint out the adjustment. The new quick mask panel will work with Photoshop version 24 and newer for both the Mac and Windows operating system.